Hi guys, I'm Young, and today I'm here in the exact spot where they actually filmed the night time lapse in the advertisement. Today I actually want to focus on my favorite usage of Osmo Pocket, which is actually using it during night time. I actually want to show you guys first on exactly how I can get the same effect by changing the exposure in the pro mode of Osmo Pocket's Mimo M. So let's find out together. First, let's go into time lapse. You can see pro mode. Then you can see in manual where you can set different exposure. So let's go for two seconds. Well, this will give five seconds. Then I actually want to set the path. And I want the light to move this way. I'll disconnect. And here you can see pro mode. Then now it has all the setting. All right, and it's very stable. Alternatively, you can set the path after detaching. Setting the path this way may be actually easier. Don't you guys think that's pretty awesome? I mean, I do find this slightly bright, but if you actually turn it down a bit in post edit, then you can actually get this effect. So now I actually want to take you guys to the light park and then see what else we can do with this device at night time. Let's go. Of course, Osmo Mobile can actually take great exposure picture because it's so stable and it's so small that it can actually pretty much stand anywhere you can find on the road or etc. And here I have interesting rides. I mean, the ride actually goes a little bit slowly and then you really want to get the full exposure to get like full circle or whatever. Then there's one tip that I can give to you guys, wearing sunglasses. Actually not wearing sunglasses on myself because I can't really see them. Unless you like, you really want to film something professionally. If you just want few pictures with special night exposure function, then you can always find sunglasses super handy, right? When you take the exposure picture, then don't forget the timer. Three, two, one then Osmo Pocket is ready to take the most stable photos, up to 8 seconds. Make sure that the sunglasses is right up by the lens, otherwise you get photobombed by your own face. And also just familiarize yourself a lot with the pro mode because it really helps if there are so many people like in Hong Kong. I mean, right now you can't really see, but there are so many people in this Tama Park. Pro mode, when you're actually really used to the exposure, then you can actually get rid of the people, at least on the video. If you guys found this video useful on how to use Osmo Pocket at night time, that's actually my favorite time to use Osmo Pocket, especially maybe because I live in Hong Kong where it's beautiful at night. And I know a lot of you guys are pretty experts on Osmo Pocket, so do share with me what your tips are. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you!